December 6th and I am now officially, according to my notes, 40 days out from the first flow. The, the bloom of the maples and some wildflowers. So I can start feeding because that'll give her the 40 days to have the first good flush of brood and be prepared to gather that many more that much more honey and nectar to feed the first true flush based on actual nectar availability I want to feed my small ones first and I have left plenty of honey on them so I'm counting on that to further the pollen patty. Uh, my pollen patties will go not just on top because at this point they're not in the top of the hive. This is one of my smaller hives. She's in three mediums. So her broodness is actually in the second medium. And so I'll open her up. But up top, I will put a little extra uh, dry sugar just to uh, further her along. And then within, by, by next week, I'll start feeding everybody else some pollen patties and give, with that extra protein, they should be able to start brood rearing not in full swing because they do that I believe with the hours of daylight they switch on right after the solstice and with this then they'll be able to fill uh, nukes with extra bees and not be taking too much of a hit on the existing hive. So that's a bit of sugar for them. They do have stores, but it helps them just kind of stay busy. I've got like three days of rain coming. It helps them stay busy. Hopefully they won't carry it out. Uh, I spritzed it with a little water so that they don't tend to carry it out as quickly if that's what they were needing to do. And that just helps them keep busy where I am there's not a lot blooming in this area it's really a spring area there's a little bit more in the fall right now I've got camellias, camellia blooming and I'm on top of the blueberry field so that'll be the first thing that goes for them in February that if you're feeding your uh, pollen patties that you have enough stores
there's a bloom on the way and if you're in a place where it snows that they have an upper upper entrance because the bees have to get out to fly so that they can defecate otherwise you'll end up with more problems than you started out with these are some more of my other area hives and we're just make sure that my bloom on the way if they're going to get a patty to go out but it's been a while and the heat in the hive tends to dry it out as well so I'm going to give them another one so nobody likes being opened up on these rainy days because it's rainy it's dark most of the girls are home if not all of them we got tornado warnings pretty moist not really bad I'm gonna spritz it and give it to him and this other one I'm gonna put right back down into there She's a small one. That's what I'm feeding her. I do have to watch for high beetle. The high beetle can still proliferate. My days are. almost 70 and my nights have been in the 60s so we still got pretty warm weather but I want them to be up and ready Middle sugar won't hurt them. They got their stores, but again,
so that's my duties for the day and from now on I will be feeding trying to bump up my populations for nuke making for my queen rearing it's all in schedule if you don't need higher populations don't start feeding early if you don't have time to watch out for swarming leave them be until you have to feed whether it's due to near starvation or whatever not everybody has to start feeding it's only if you know that you're going to be using those bees early in the season thanks for watching